Good morning, I'm off to the Lakeland Motor Museum to take a look at some classic cars with the KLMC. And you can't go to a classic car show without going in a classic car. So we're taking our Mercedes-Benz C124. First, I'm gonna go and pick my mate up. All right, on with the adventure. Ah, first time, awesome. So this is a 1991. It's also a 2.3 cylinder. Well, Dunk and I have arrived at the Lakeland Motor Museum. I'm Ben Quirk. Welcome to Planet Auto. So the C124. Otherwise known as the W124 Coupe. Pillarless. And it is the first gen. 220,000 miles, four-speed auto, 2.3 four-cylinder engine. And it's eight valve. Anyway, let's look at what else we've got here. Little MG V8. That's a block. Looks like he's got the KNN on it as well. Very nice. The thing about Lakeland Motor Museum and the KLMC meets is you just look at the variety of cars. Vauxhall Senators, Morris Miners, Classic Rovers. The little MG. Yeah, tape deck wood veneers and types of things. I mean Duncan and I are going to have a wander over and see um, this Fiesta that's uh, it's going to re rekindle memories for you isn't it that? So years ago Dunk used to have one of these and it was in blue so they were 950s and it was base spec wasn't it? it this is in fantastic condition this but look at the little steelies on it not even got headrests, but to be honest, a lot of cars then didn't. More MGs. Yeah, they're, they're, considering you're 6'3", yeah, and uh, we all used to cram in it. Thing is, it was very good under the crag, wasn't it? it handled exceptionally well. Land Rover Series. Oh, yeah, 69, yeah, you're right, 2A. If you like this type of video, why not subscribe to the channel? You just hit the button on the right hand side. It's free and you'll get an alert every time we upload. Also, if you do like the video, why not give it a like? It all helps and it means we can get more cars. Thank you. We had one of these some time ago, but the difference was on the two A's, it varied on what the fronts were like. So we had the headlamps there, whereas they're there, but we also had the bulkhead out of the Series 1, which is really confusing. Ladder frame chassis and arguably the best off-roader ever they just don't stop quite literally tvr now these are the tvrs that i remember from my youth now when you look at the rear you'll recognize things like the lenses so yeah they're off a of sierra yeah Little MX5. This is a V8 Rover. Not a clue on the model. It regularly attends this meet though. The thing about these vehicles are they're in pretty good nick. Now, the one that always catches my eye is this. If you look at the exhaust and the full roll cage, you realise it's not quite what it seems. So it started life as a Morris Minor, but I suspect it's not quite the standard engine it came with. MX-5, nice to see a head hard top on it. Wow. Humber. Classic Humber. Nice. Look at the craftsmanship. Lucas dials. Proper wood. The suicide doors. This is the first. W124 Saloon. Whether it's a four cylinder or a straight six, let's find out. This is straight six. So I think this is the M103 engine. 
I've seen a couple of W124s around here, but I've never known where they live and I've never seen one here, so oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's immense. I think those are aftermarket wheels as well. Another MG. There's so many MGs here. So I'd say this is an MG GB GT, possibly. But Mark II Escort RS2000 with the Revolite wheels. Original engine as well. Holy cow, the levels that people go to restore these. Wow, that had some work done. Similar kind of level of work to uh, on that two golf. I do like the nose cones on this. So, and this is what stands out to me on an RS2000. That. Fiat. That one, two, four? Oh, is this the technical? Could well be. <laughs> it is. So I've never driven this one, but I have driven the new one, and I've also driven the new Bath one. And that's got the Fiat, I think it's multi-air turbocharged 1.4. It'd be nice to compare it to something like this. Classic scimitar, GT. Wow. Classic Jag. I'm not going to embarrass myself and tell you what it is, because I've got a clue. Oh, XK150. It's a later one then, definitely. And it's not all it seems. Wow, a Chevy pickup truck. <gasps> Immense. It's a real treat to see something this well in the lakes, let alone in Britain to be honest. I'd say it's 50s, but I may be completely wrong. Look at that for a speedo. Classic bench seat. I plumb for this being a V8. Rover 75? Yeah, quite like the ones in today's world. This is beautiful. Genevieve. And it's for sale. That's the thing. So many people nowadays think, oh, Rover 75, it's a new car. Things like the Ami, but they're not. They're cars that existed well before. And they've just carried on the nameplate. Morris Minor. And a shed load of bikes. BSAs, that's what my granddad used to ride in the Isle of Man. And some triumphs. Royal Enfield, wow. Okay. Really nice bikes here. And they had lovely colours like this. You see, I'm not that knowledgeable on bikes, but a lot of appreciation. And look at this. So, this is the Lakeland Motor Museum. Technically propelled vehicles prohibited. The irony. <laughs> it's been an exceptional week to be honest. We've managed to book in three press cars, including a long term on an electric pickup. Triumph TR6. <laughs> Foxhall Senator. I remember those wheels on Cavaliers. I thought that was like an aftermarket mod. I think it was an SRI. Brown stack. T-bar styly. 
door. That's the thing, classic cars had a lot of wood. They had a lot of style, a lot of grace. And we've got a white one here as well. Lovely Jag, it's an XJ8. Proper built cars. A lot of classic minis around here. Original Morris engine, wow. You can have a box full if you want. I've got a lot, yeah. No, help yourself. Oh, it's sliding windows, so... Oh, it's glass, okay. Interesting. I know they used to come with plastic as well. So this is actually a Cooper S. Oh, teddy bear in the back. Oh, and a Supreme. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Oh, yeah. A Plum 4 Series 1 Talk about a retro Volvo Fantastic looking car The body lines are shaping Look at the way the door just bulges out And these fat wings They're elegant I do love a classic Volvo. And yeah, this one's a coupe. Hello, oh, Dougie. BMW E30. Now, is it a 320 or a 325i? It's leather. That looks like a. It's a bit rich. Very rich, yes. Is that an M? Well, we got we got that with Dizzle. It's got M attributes, but it's not an M3 because otherwise it'd have the flared arches. A beautiful car though. Yeah, suffers from the same <laughs> problems as Dorothy. Condensation. Oh, Bentley. Is it what? It's nice to see one in well, original condition. I say it's nice to see a restored one, but when you see one that's been through the wars and survived, that's something in itself. It really is. The attention to detail. Blanche. Now at some point I'm going to head up with Stephen in his silver cloud. It'll be interesting to see what people think of that. So to be honest, this Lancia makes me, reminds me of Eastern European cars, but also it's rather Beatlesque. Especially with that split window. Ah, oh, this is a cool little thing. Hmm, that's the head's logo. Proper petrol head. Marlin? I'm not familiar with those. Love the side exit exhaust though. And just look at the suspension setup. This would be a demon on a B road. V8 compressor, so Mercedes-Benz SL55. So yeah, it's the hardtop convertible. The bonnet reminds me of the McLaren variant. It's not quite as long, but it's still got a unique styling. I love the red. Another MG. And interestingly, the 1953 MG YB. That's it, you see the BG GTs, but you don't really see things like YBs. Beautiful period colours as well. Such elegant cars. Two-tone, it's always going to be a plus in my book. Ooh. So from 1953 too. A bit of history with this one. It's amazing how many Rileys come out in summer. So it's nice to see one in winter. A dreadful thing what year this is. 30s, 40s possibly. It's 
dove a little deeper. Well, there you have it. Part one of our KLMC meet at the Lakeland Motor Museum. You've seen us meander around a few motors, but there's lots more to come. Watch out for part two and thank you for watching.